if it was just moved a couple inches to the left here of this pipe, we would be in the clear. But in this case, it's not. So only equipment associated with that electrical equipment is allowed in this dedicated space, right? So if it's other electrical equipment, you're good to go. If it is something like heating and air conditioning or water piping or something along those lines, it is not associated with that equipment and is not allowed in that dedicated space. So technically this is a code violation. This is a heating and air conditioning duct. It is within this dedicated space of this equipment, above this equipment. It is not, I would say it's not really in the working space, but it is in the dedicated space right here. Uh, because again, we need six feet above the equipment, clear of any foreign piping systems or the structural ceiling, whatever is less. So uh, what I did in this situation, I knew that this could be an issue, but I tried to push this ducting up into the ceiling and strap it off so that my inspector wouldn't give me a hard time. In my case, he didn't, but if he really wanted to be a stickler, he could have called me out on this piping. The area above the dedicated space can contain foreign systems as long as electrical components are protected from breaks, leaks, and condensation. I highlighted above there because that does not say these foreign systems can be in the dedicated space. It's saying if it's above the dedicated space. So that means higher than six feet above the equipment or higher than the structural ceiling. So essentially, you know, if you've got heating and air conditioning ducts or water piping, you don't want, you want to prevent them from being able to leak on your electrical equipment. 